Hello once again, my friends. Dave McDonald here. <laughs> Another episode of our Quarantunes. Drawing together to help pass the time. I hope you're doing well today. I stopped writing day number because I'm not sure. I've lost track of what day it is. <laughs> I just know that it's the 11th video. <laughs> it's gone on so long here. We'll just, we'll just keep track of how many uh, fun videos we create. All right, so we got to warm up today. Just like every day, I like to warm up using simple shapes. Go ahead, draw. Uh, grab your handy dandy pencil and we'll do some warm up shapes. I like, as you know, to draw and get my hand loosened up with my circles and ovals and squiggly lines, curved lines. All right, I will take this opportunity today for a little shout out. My friends up in Fayetteville, North Carolina, at the Cumberland County Libraries. I was just up there visiting and working with the community in the library, doing some programming. And so, Miss Pate, I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for arranging my visit. That was a wonderful time. Sam, he's a, he's a good artist. He, he showed up at my program and I had seen him years ago. Now he's grown up. He's, I think he's in middle or high school by now. But he came and said hello, and he's still drawing. Sam, I hope you're doing well, and you're continuing to draw. It was great to see you. And then all my other friends at the Cliffdale branch, hey? Hope Mills and West Branch, those three branches I, I visited, and we drew with a lot of young artists. So I just wanted to shout out and say hello to a, a great group of artists. That was a fun time. Okay, I think I'm all warmed up now. <clears throat> Today I thought we would draw something from outer space. Maybe it's a human character that goes to outer space, or maybe it's just a character that lives in outer space. But in any case, we're going to draw a character in a little space suit. So with your pencil, and you know I like to start with my simple shapes to kind of rough out the basic outline of my character. So what we're going to do is start off with an oval shape. Go ahead and give yourself an oval shape. And then just to the right of that oval shape, almost the same size, another oval. Kind of like that. And that's gonna create a helmet. You'll see how that works, okay? A helmet inside. So this is gonna be the plastic helmet part and this is going to be the cutout. So. I can let you see how that might work a little better here. So the helmet will be like this, and then the glass or the shield will be like that. And then inside, of course, we have somebody's face. Somebody lives in there. <laughs> somebody's inside of the spacesuit. So they've got some hair here, maybe some hair coming down to the side. We'll give them Maybe some big oval eyes, little pointy nose, a big smile. Let's open up that mouth. So two ovals with the pupils, little pointy nose, a smile for curved line there, curved line here. And then watch this, a top row of teeth, big smile, All right? And it's going to be, let's do this. You can make your character a boy character or a girl character. And in cartooning, we simplify. We don't draw all the details, but one little detail that helps tell a viewer that it might be a girl is the long eyelashes. So this is gonna be a girl, and I'm gonna put little squares on her teeth. She's got braces. Imagine that, you're in outer space and you've got braces. <laughs> Who puts them in, I wonder? Okay, the body or the suit, of the character, do this. We need kind of a triangle shape, only we're going to bend it. So watch this. It's a curved line that comes down like this, and then kind of a triangle shape. So in other words, if this were across the bottom, we would actually have a triangle that started to fall over, but we're not gonna complete the triangle. It just gives us the basic shape of the body. Now watch this. Do this and then come down like this. So an upside down letter U. And it's going to create that spacesuit look. Okay. Oval shapes at the bottom for the feet or the what will create kind of boots of the character. 
and then a little elbow macaronis, although this time, watch. For some reason, I'm going to narrow the arm at the wrist, and you'll see why. So two straight lines, a um, little circle. We will just put little ovals for the fingers. We'll draw them in later. And a little glove. They're wearing a suit, so do this. Another triangle shape here. Create a glove. All right. The other hand is perhaps gesturing. So two straight lines. A circle at the end. Maybe they're kind of pointing or asking someone to hold up. A little triangle here for the glove. And what would we have here? We might have something like that. We won't need that other finger, I don't think. We'll just leave it like this. Just a gesture. Hold up there, sir. Somebody's going to be floating here. <clears throat> well, we're in outer space. Someone could be floating there, right? All right, so now we'll go ahead and make that, whatever that is, we will draw. Give a little hot dog shape here. Hot dog shape. <laughs> and on top of that, a big upside down letter U will create a spaceship. Put some circles along the side. They have lights on the side, little spaceship, little glass globe, and inside, Yep, a little alien character, so big head with an oval. Coming down to a body that's sitting there, maybe driving this thing. Maybe they're saying hello somehow with their little fingers. We're only at the end of their fingers. They have little balls of, I don't know, maybe webbing or... Their fingers look different. Let's do this. Two little curved lines on top of the head. This alien has their eyeballs on top of their head. <laughs> and he's just kind of sitting there. I don't know why there'd be exhaust. I don't think an engine would run in outer space because he's just kind of floating there, hovering saying hello to our little space girl and maybe a little horizon line of the planet that they're on. I don't know if they're, it's a planet that you could make up or it could be Jupiter, Mars, right? Anything you want it to be. And you know I like to ink over or trace over my work with my ink pen. The glass. Inside of the glass, create that hair. And then edge of their face. Two ovals for the eyeballs, eyelids, Eyelashes. Little nose. Big smile. Big row of teeth with our little braces along there. If you want, you can fill in the mouth. That's going to be a tongue, that little curved line there at the bottom. That just indicates the tongue. It just gives a little more friendliness to the character, right? Maybe some freckles. So a young girl, she's in. maybe she lives in outer space, goes to school in outer space. Or right now she's, would she be e-learning? I don't know. She's got a helmet on, so she should be safe. Do that there. And the lines of her spacesuit. Her 
hand here. Gesturing, hold on there, partner. Little lines for some shading. We can do that as well underneath the space helmet, right? And I don't know, I've never worn a space suit, but maybe these are, maybe the utility belt has useful things that all space people could use. Use these oval shapes as a basis for our feet. Or in this case, what we can do is make them boots. Watch this. Just a little upside down letter U right there. Makes those boots, right? And you could kind of do some cross hatching in there. Make them a different color. Or you could add your color pencil, right? Just a horizon line back there. It doesn't have to be too detailed. It's the crusty edge of the planet there. All right. Now our friendly little alien inside is hot dog shaped spacecraft. And for some reason, exhaust. <laughs> and he's hovering, so I like these motion lines off to the side. Circles. I've noticed that drawing circles with these brush markers isn't as easy as it is with other types of pens. Like a regular felt tip pen or a Sharpie. So he's got his, let's see, one hand is down here, maybe holding the steering wheel at some point. This other hand is just gesturing. Hello. And again, just hovering there. And let's see here, on the bottom here, let's add a little bit of detail. Maybe there's a crater back there. All right, could be a crater over here. Just do this. All right. Rocks. And do this, some wavy lines in the background. We're out in the galaxy, so there might be some different colors of light in the, in the sky. And there we have our little space character. And maybe they've made friends. You've got a little alien this is when they first meet. Now they're going to be friends forever. <laughs> I guess that's how you meet friends in outer space, right? You just say, hold up there. What's your name? And hopefully they speak the same, same language. Because <laughs> that could be a little barrier. Not impossible. Right? We can overcome language barriers. Just takes a little extra time. I'm going to erase my pencil lines. Try to neaten it up real quick here for you. And I wonder how that looks. Hey, not too bad. Little space character. That's fun. Awesome. I hope you I hope you had fun drawing yours. I'll bet it came out wonderful. <laughs> awesome. All right, so glad to be with you today. Be well, stay safe, take care of one another, okay? Until next time. Bye-bye.